Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today, we'll be opening up the Oenma Hamyo, or the Manticora Latipenis, I think, uh, but apparently it's just a species of tiger beetles native to South, um, South Africa, from the Ikimono Daizuka, or the Living Encyclopedia, Kuagata 05, or the Stag Beetle Set 5. So yeah, so here, uh, this is a 500 yen capsule toy in Japan, and um, uh, for those wondering, it, this they basically all now come in a normal capsule, they no longer come in the display capsules. So they're cutting costs that way. So here is the breakdown here, you got the... Here you go, you got the Europe, the Europe Miyama Ku, uh, Kuagata, red version and black version. The Mirapis, Mirapiris no Kogiri Kuagata, the Mengata, 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 yeah, the Mengata Kuagata, and today is the Oenma Hamyo. Uh, Oenma, I'm pretty sure it's like it just means big Enma, like demon, like the demon lord, kind of like Satan. So, yeah. So this one is a unique mold, and I think is one of the more sought after ones. So as you can already see, the back part of it is very, very different, like that. So, and this time the uh, oh, oops, already. Hmm. But this part is already part in here. So, ooh, look at that! It's got multiple parts. So, oh wow! Ooh. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's uh. It had a lot of pieces. So before that, I just want to show that off. So. Oops. Sorry, Buster. So this part. Uh, this way, right? This way? Nah, it's gotta be this way. So first, let me just put the body to get there. Just so it's easier to do. Hmm. This one's a bit hard to get a good grip on. Balance wise, this ball joint is. Hmm. Wait for that magical. Oh. There we go. Like that, I think. Yeah, so there you go. Oh, okay, so in person, um, I'll just turn up the light. I thought it was black, but actually it is a very, very dark brown. It's way too bright, isn't it? So it's kind of hard to see, but it is like a very dark brown. Like this is black, and here you can clearly kind of see it's a different shade. It's a very dark brown, but yeah. Um, here's the eyes, and then the tennis come out here. But the mouth, ooh, so it's got the moving pincers here. And then it's got these things, which ah, got many of these. So it's got like four of these little mandible things. I'm not sure. And then it's got some holes here, so yeah. Um, <laughs> quite creepy, and the entire thing is quite cool in that it can go left and right. Oh, wait, okay. So when the more I look at it, this is actually less black and more really dark brown. So it might all be the same, but here you can clearly see the texturing like that. So I oh, so it popped up. So maybe that's why. Oh, there we go. Finally felt it. Nice push there. But it does go left, right? It's almost spider like and angry, but yeah. So we have the legs here as well as the very, very straight sharp antenna. It's interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. So I'm going to put this later. So let's just do the legs first. So here it says A2. This means it's the middle set. We want three for the bottom. A1 is the top. And here's A3 with the. If you guys can see here, so it says A3 here, and then here on the ball joint, it'll say left or right. 
So let's just put these in first. So this one, generally you just always aim down, so that's the easiest way to figure out. Push this one in, although I feel like pushing maybe the second slot in is better, but hmm. so we got one and two. So this time it's very solid, soft plastic. And this is the A1, so I want this next. So again, this one aims the lower legs all go downwards. There's that one. And the other one here. Push in that one. And this one goes here. So this one is a very fast build. Won't take any time at all. But I am quite happy with this one already um the uniqueness of this quite small though i would put this in the small class however the weight class is much heavier so very small however this is kind of cool though these things these antennas here just twist these off oops So these should go here. Oop. So I dropped it somewhere I can't see. Die Buster, there it is. Let's try that again. So close the mouth here. It's up here. So I guess let's twist it in. Pushing it straight down, there we go. One and two. Oh, there we go. So like that. It's almost like an ant beetle hybrid thing. So very small, but very cool. So hold on, let me just. in focus so there we have it the O and Mahamyo or the uh, the Manticore Tiger Beetle PC so very nice so um, articulation wise doesn't have much you know so it goes down this much and then it goes up this much. its head can go up straight down very easy to move this one can go up this much maybe if you want it like that maybe and wants to grab some stuff. Uh, the mouth opens this much, and then can close up to this much. I would say these, I can't tell. These should just be molded. It's hard to tell like what. Yeah, it's a soft plastic, so yeah. So, you know, molding wise, it's very nice. It has the bottom parts here. Although there's not much to the molding. Um, as you can kind of tell from here, the shell, so I just want to show that. So even the shell here is slightly ridged here. Legs as always detailed. The mouth parts here. Can't really show much. Um, let's see if I, if I make it brighter, can I show more inside the mouth? No, sorry busters. But yeah, and the eyes here. Not much to this guy, but uh, very small. So for a size comparison, here he is with a Digimon card, a Pokemon Magic Gathering um, traditional casino, was it um, casino playing trump card, which is should be a six by six by eight by eight centimeters. So it's basically eight centimeters, like nine centimeters tall. Width wise, I'd say it's about four-ish centimeters. Um, however, height wise, it is quite thick. So yeah. Um, here he is with, in the same set, the Mira Beauty one. So it's definitely, if you can see, like definitely unique. Well, very unique, very different. Size is quite small. However, they're about the same weight. Like this thing is just solid inside. So, whereas these guys have slightly hollow bits. So yeah, very small. 
Um, here he is next to the smallest coin I got, uh, the gold Rubenberg or something. So I definitely put in the SS rank of size. But definitely a very unique mold. You know, you see with some other beetles. So as you can see, this is a very glossy one, and this is a very matte finish. I'll say matte, but it's still quite reflective. If anything, the feeling of this is almost leather-like. Here he is with another one. You know, and for one of the larger sized ones in comparison from the new generation, I guess, set one, um, the, the, the head would have been up to here. So I, I'm not going to use those. Those were outliers basically compared to now. So, so yeah. Mm, a quick video this time, Busters. Not much to this guy, you know, but still very cool, unique mold. Very different, very unique. Doesn't look quite like a beetle, but I guess it is. Um, I think it is. I'm not sure because the Japanese says Mio, which generally, from what I remember, we had another one. wasn't quite a beetle, but Wikipedia says it's a t t species of tiger um, beetle. So yeah, I guess for anyone who does know, uh, please let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, actually, there's quite a few of you that um, who watch these who are very inform um, well informed about beetles. So uh, yeah, so if you uh, thanks for those who are, who are telling me. It's quite interesting learning about these, you know. And I guess uh, for those who uh, are quite informed of this, um, do want to ask you guys, like, hey, um, are the do you guys would you guys consider these like a, I guess a highly detailed representative, the real stuff, you know? Because you know, I think uh, Bandai they are trying their best to get these as realistic as possible, not one to one or anything. But they are scanning uh, real specimens and doing 3D rendering. So I think, at least for me, who knows nothing about these things, uh, I personally think they're doing a really good job. They look realistic, you know, albeit really big. But yeah. So uh, I would like to know your you guys' opinions on, you know, are these things accurate in terms of shape, size, ratios, and all that, you know? But yeah, so that's about it. Um, I definitely say uh, for collectors who are like me who collect these, definitely get it. Um, for those who want only, I guess, the traditional style ones, this might be a pass for you because it, at least for me, it is quite different. Like if you showed me, I wouldn't. I'd say maybe a beetle, but it could have been just like some sort of like ant variant, like the pincers here. It does look kind of like an ant to me, but yeah. Uh, so I think the only ones who I can't really recommend it to are those who are not a fan of this shape or form, uh, those who only want to collect, you know, the traditional beetle styles, or, you know, just find it kind of creepy <laughs> with the mouth things. But uh, for those, uh, for other people who do like um, having unique molds, this is a definitely a very unique mold and will definitely stand out in your collection. And, you know, so at least here it's only 500 yen. I would say definitely get this and some other ones if you had. So if you're interested in this, it's definitely good. I would say that um, for those uh, probably like me who are interested and keep an eye out on release schedules, I was thinking this would be at least medium size, bigger, and this is actually quite a lot smaller than I expected. So that's the one small thing I would put against it is that it is a bit smaller than expected. However, the unique molding and all that is superb. So, and I guess um, also the back doesn't open, so you cannot use wings. So this is basically it. There's not even a peg hole here for it flying because it cannot fly. So. Maybe it's like a dung beetle species. But yeah, that's about it. I do recommend it, Busters, for your collection. But um, that's basically it, Busters, for this video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And I hope it's somehow answered any questions or comments you had about this uh, mold or maybe even, you know, the size. However, I do go over these things quite quickly and just off the top of my head. So if there's anything I didn't go over or went over too quickly or missed, please let me know down in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to you on that to answer your questions. Um, once again, thanks for watching and hope to see you again on my next capsule toy video. As always, this Buster Kun here off to find a swanky street. <laughs>